uh, thank you for your question. Uh, yes, uh, we will take a look at uh, these Google Forms. If you, if a student uh, does press the back button or uh, the refresh button, uh, or if they lose the internet uh, connect connection, uh, they will lose uh, the, the work that they're currently have put into the Google Form unless they've already hit the submit button. So a student's work does not get uh, entered until they press the submit button. So what we can do is we can take a look at the settings and, and we can make the submit button act as a save button. So I'll go through this uh, on how to do it and, and the settings necessary to do that. So I have a form here that um, I have uh, uh, created, just a simple one. It says, what's your name? That's the first section. And the second section are the question section. Um, all right, so if we go into settings, it's the gear at the very top. And we'll start at general. Um, you can collect uh, email addresses or, or you don't have to collect email addresses. Uh, the first question that I have on, on my form is what is your name? Uh, and I am going to limit to DDSB. Um, but this one is important. You, you definitely want to limit to one response. And that way, um, a little bit later when we have the student re-enter, uh, that they are using the, the same form, that they're not creating multiple um, uh, responses uh, on, on different forms. So everything is always going back into the same um, kind of like a pile. So, so you do want to limit to one response. And here's the one that will change the, um, the, the submit button to act as a save button. So we want to turn on the ability for students to edit after they submit okay and then when your quiz is done you'll have to come back in here and then turn that off so that they can't change their answer after the quiz is over okay so while the quiz is running uh, you, you want that checked okay and then in presentation i usually like to shuffle and as far as a message um, as you can tell them please uh, press the submit button often okay and re-enter as necessary uh, for quizzes this is a quiz uh, I, I usually press uh, for this to uh, return uh, later and so that they can see their missed questions the correct answer and the point values so those are the settings that I use okay and I hit save don't forget to press the save button all right, so here I'll, I'll show you what this looks like from a student uh, point of view. And I'll say, I don't know. And when I hit submit, that's when it gets saved. All right, and because we put on the option so that they can edit their response, uh, it's saved. I can now go back in and it can change my answers. I can update them. All right. And then when I submit, those new answers get turned in. Uh, I, I, I There's no record of uh, what they had before. Okay. So as a teacher, if the quiz is now over, then what you want to do is go back in, uh, up into uh, settings, and press that so they can't. And when I hit submit, I'm going to go back into it and say, oh, the quiz is done. When they hit edit your response, it doesn't let them. Okay, so that that is pretty much the process uh, and, and uh, what you'll need to do uh, so that students don't lose their work. Uh, I'd suggest that, uh, that they, they press the submit button often. It also means that the questions uh, aren't all required. Okay, uh, if they are required and, and you want that, then what you could do is, is that uh, make them required and then the students will just have to put in like a period or, or a space into every answer in order for them to submit first. Um, but I, again, that's your choice. All right, so hopefully I've answered your question and uh, let me know how it goes. Okay, bye.